All right, guys, gonna be walking you through the process of how to turn your smartphone device into a remote for your NVIDIA Shield TV. To do this, you need to launch the Play Store or the App Store. And then once you're on the main page of the App Store in the search bar, just go ahead and type in NVIDIA Shield TV remote, or you can just go ahead and tap on the NVIDIA Shield TV application. This is the application that we need to install. So we're gonna go ahead and click install, and it is a very small file size, just a couple of megabytes. So it should download and install very quickly. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and select open. And the application should also make an icon on one of the main pages of your phone. So that's where you're gonna be able to find it later. But once we're into the application itself, for the terms of use, we're gonna go ahead and select continue. Now we need to make sure that we're connected into the same internet Wi-Fi router with our phone as we are connected with our Nvidia Shield TV. So make sure that both the Nvidia Shield TV and your smartphone are connected into that same Wi-Fi wireless router or this won't work. So as you can see, my Shield, which is 10.0.0.2 is right there ready to be selected so I tapped on it now at this point it's gonna pop up with a code on your television it's gonna be a different code for you than it is for me but on my TV right now it's displaying six three six two three six and then once you have all the digits entered in you just go ahead and click enter and now it says you're connected ready to go your smartphone is now a remote for your nvidia shield tv you can see on display right now there's this large trackpad that's what this big gray square is below the trackpad we have left click and right click for mouse buttons if you want it to look like a more traditional nvidia shield remote next to the little keyboard button you just go ahead and click those arrows and then it shows you the different arrows as well as the select button then you can change it back to a mouse the trackpad and different uh, left and right click buttons as well and then you also have a keyboard option which can be really useful on different applications in your nvidia shield tv beyond that we have our back button our play pause button as well as our home button so now everything is set up and ready to go to use our smartphone as an nvidia shield tv remote and that's going to wrap this one up guys thanks for stopping on in consider subscribing for more and i hope to see you guys back here for future videos